and all that wet weather being felt by distributors relying on fresh produce from California. As Max Rodriguez learned, items like berries are harder to get. It's been never-ending rain in the Golden State, and even from thousands of miles away, Hawaii vendors are concerned. We have seen logistical things where farms that have flowers can't get it to the airport because they're flooded in. We've had farms that we buy from that have had complete destruction of their fields. Sunflower shipments on pause, and filler flowers like baby's breath harder to come by. Pereira says roses for Valentine's Day should not be affected. Almost all roses coming from South America. But there's already a shortage for another popular item for Valentine's Day, strawberries. They're allocating, so what that means is they're allowing so much for each customer to, to try to make sure that everyone's covered, but supply is very short right now. Strawberry shipments coming from Central California slashed by more than half. Companies having to order from Mexico in order to meet the demand. It takes an extra day or two as far as transportation, but of course you got the freight charges and fuel surcharge that you get hit for. Customers likely to cover that added shipment cost from Mexico. Although staples like rice not seeing an impact, the California Rice Commission says growing season begins late spring. Hawaii emergency management officials in constant communication with their California counterparts, knowing Hawaii seen its fair share of extreme weather. Take the opportunity in your neighborhood to know your hazards and work on your, your plans. Uh, sooner or later, we will all be challenged with an emergency. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.